The site was East Lansing. The prize, a trip to the NCAA playoffs. And through three periods and two overtimes, the game was tied at six apiece. I remember it like it was yesterday, the players in, in, the, uh, in the locker room with uh, everyone lying on the floor and their feet up and, and kind of chuckling. There was a self-confidence in that group that allowed us to uh, actually chuckle and laugh a little bit uh, d during the, the overtime intermissions is something I'll never forget. The game was unforgettable. The result was too, when Pat Fippen ended the longest day in Gopher history with a goal in the third sudden death overtime. Somehow I stayed out a little longer on my shift and Donnie Madsen uh, was out there and he dug the puck out of the corner and got it to me and uh, one of those deals where I think their goalie was a little screened by their defenseman and took a slap shot and somehow it went in. Actually as far as the game goes I did not have a very good game thinking back to that game. The only thing I did right that day was score that goal. Next stop the final four in Denver for another upset. This one over a Boston University team led by a future North Star Mike Fiddler. But the sweetest music on this night was the resounding Minnesota Rouser. Vanelli scored the tying goal. Mark Lambert the game winner as the Gophers prevailed 4-2. Once again, Michigan Tech was the final team on the dance card. And again, the Gophers were severely tested as Tech broke to a 3-0 lead. But soon after, Vanelli revved the Minnesota engines with a power play goal, and the Gophers came to life. Joe Micheletti cut the Huskies' lead to one. Then freshman Bill Baker, with an assist to Vanelli, tied the game at three apiece. Deadlocked at four in the third period, Pat Fippen performed the heroic encore to East Lansing. When Warren Miller hit an open net, Minnesota had its second national championship in three years. <laughs>